I have a dilemma. On the one hand, I like when streets are opened up to people. Streets used to be a public space. Around the 1920s, the increasing speed and popularity of the car meant more and more injuries and fatalities to people walking in these public spaces. Some cities began to push back against the dangers of the car, but the car manufacturers had a better propaganda machine. Streets were closed to people, unless you were in a car. And with the way being in a car prohibits social interaction, streets are now just a space. In recent years, cities have been returning the public space of the street to the people. Hosting markets, festivals, cyclovias, and other events have made streets a public space once again. I don't believe these events inconvenience drivers very much. The scope of these events is often limited in time and space. They often don't interfere with commuter traffic, and most cities have plenty of other roads designed solely with the SUV driver's convenience in mind. The price of a little inconvenience to SUV drivers is a little of their time and a small amount of extra effort for their right foot. However, this market has me conflicted. Throughout the summer, this market is set up along a major protected bike lane. You might even remember this protected bike lane from my video comparing it to an urban freeway. In that video, I argued that I would prefer protected bike lanes that took you to destinations, instead of being designed primarily for commuters to pass by destinations. In a way, I got my wish, because this market is a destination and it is right on the bike lane. But, as I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me, cyclists are never happy. The market and the city don't think it's a big deal to close a major protected bike lane. In my opinion, it's equivalent of closing this bridge every Sunday. There are other options for SUV drivers if this bridge were closed, but those detours are a long way away. This protected bike lane is about as good as it gets in this city. There are no similar options in the area. From my experience, and the experience I've heard from others, the market does not wish to accommodate people on bikes. In the early days of the market, they completely closed the protected bike lane. I believe there was enough pushback that the protected bike lane became a dismount zone. Again, no one would ever suggest closing all but one lane on this bridge and make people get out and push their SUV across. Also, there are people who can ride bikes but cannot walk long distances. The number of people like this is likely increasing with the increased popularity of e-bikes. The current situation with the market and the protected bike lane is confusing. I rode through on two successive Sundays. The first Sunday had large traffic cones in the middle of the lane. Easy to get around on a Brompton, but much tighter with the back feats. My youngest actually hit one of the pylons, but thankfully didn't crash. The second Sunday had a lot fewer pylons, but the dismount signs were visible. On that Sunday, there were no surly old men yelling at cyclists to dismount, as I experienced last year. So what can be done to solve my dilemma of opening a street to people without closing the only protected bike lane? In my opinion, two things. The first is to realize that the protected bike lane needs to be kept open. Consistent messaging is necessary. Show that the bike lane is still open, but people on bikes need to slow down and yield to pedestrians. For the most part, people on bikes are doing this. The area is busy, so most people are naturally more cautious. I did see one Sunday social ride go through, and I felt they could have been a little bit more respectful to the other people in the area. The second thing is to lay out the market better. There needs to be better sight lines for all people. I was biking slowly, and this person almost stepped right in front of me because the food truck was blocking the sight lines. Also, close gaps between stalls so people cannot cross the bike lane in so many places. People walking and biking can so easily navigate around one another as long as they can see each other and they move in predictable ways. However, if these two things are too difficult, please move the market off the bike lane. This is the busiest street in the neighborhood and, as I've said, the safest route for people on bikes. The street around the corner looks like it could accommodate the market just fine. There is ample evidence that protected bike lanes and safe, enjoyable spaces for walking result in more spending at businesses than when SUV traffic and parking are prioritized. Changing confusing restrictions in the bike lane and yelling at people on bikes will not encourage people to stop at the market. The antagonistic attitude I felt from those in charge of the market has nudged me to not stop and not buy anything at the market. Two last points. This is just one example of how my city either doesn't care or encourages by seemingly so easily allowing disruptions or closures to active transportation infrastructure. The city seems to make every effort to never inconvenience drivers, even with all the construction happening all the time. Also, this situation makes me sad that, in a city with 11,000 kilometers of road dominated by SUVs, people are left quibbling over just 200 meters.